Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial series and today I'll show you how you can make some simple power ups and we are going for the most standard ones so we have health and speed and how it will work is that you will create one simple buff to, you can just duplicate it and then in the inspector change if you want this buff to be health or speed and when your character is moving around, if you take the health icon, you can see your health is gone up. And if you take the speed, your speed will go up. So, let's get to it. What I have in my scene right now is a player. And the player has uh, a simple movement script. I can fast open it up here. And just for show off, I have the... The health and the speed. We have uh, the texts, so we can see it uh, on the screen. And in our update method, we have the reference to the health and we have the reference to the speed, so it always updates. And again, we can see it on the screen. And so for that. And then in the canvas, we of course have our health and we have a speed text. Our player needs to be tagged as player. We need a box collider set as trigger. And in my case, I'm using the rigid body as well. Now let's create the buff. So create a new sprite. Let me center this to 000. Let's take uh, the health icon. Let's go to the scene viewer here. Oops, let's move it out here. It's a bit small, I can see, so let's make it like this. And we will add a box collider to it. And now let's create the script for it. And the script we can call power or just buff apps. And on the, um, the new buff over here, and this we would do for the health. So let's call this health buff and add the script to that one. Open it up in Visual Studio. And in here, we will use an enum. So let's say public enum. And this one we will call power up. And here you can type in all the different uh, power-ups that you want. But in our case, we will go for the health and we will go for the speed. You can simply just add some more in here if you have more power-ups in your game. Now let's get a reference to these in the inspector. We will do that by using the public power-up and we will call it power-ups like this. Then we need how much uh, should these uh, power-ups increase when you uh, walk into them. So let's make a public float called amount to give. And then we need a reference to the player. So private uh, in my case, my player script is called PM player and it be player. And in the start function, oh no, let's actually make it in the awake function. Let's say player is equal to find object of type. And here we need to find our player. So now when the game starts, we always have a reference to the player. We can delete the start and update function. And then we will make an on trigger enter. And this function is when you enter another trigger. And that's why your player needs a trigger. So when you, uh, the buff enters the player, it will uh, <laughs> launch the function. And in here, we can say if the collision dot game object dot tag is equal to the player, 
then do something. And here we'll use a switch function. So if you hit switch and double tap, it should look like this. And when you double click here and you type in the power ups and press enter and remove the mouse, it should automatically type in everything here. If it didn't type it in, you could simply just write this. And this is a really good way to control the different power-ups you have. And here we simply can say, if it's a health buff, then we can say player.health plus equal the amount to give. If it's a speed buff, we can say speed, oh sorry, uh, player.speed plus equal amount to give like this and of course we need to destroy uh, the buff when we hit it and if we collide with the player then we of course need to destroy the game object uh, remember it has to be with lowercase so now when we save this, hit back to Unity, let it compile. If you take the health buff here, you can see we have a power up. Do we want it to be health or speed? In this case, let's take the health amount to give. Let's give 10 health. Let's hit play. And now when we walk into it, we got 10 health. And it's exactly the same way you have to do it with the speed. So you can just duplicate this health buff. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Only one time. Move it up here. You can uh, change the icon to this. Now you can just say speed and the amount 5. Let's hit play. And when you hit the health, you get 10 health. And if you hit the speed, you get 5 speed. So simple is that. Another thing we could do if you want to optimize it further, so you don't have to change icons and all that all the time, we could just have one, sit, uh, one buff. And then you could simply in the script have a reference to these two pictures. Uh, in my case, it's the, uh, the boot here and uh, this uh, heart. And then here you could say in the health, you could say that if it's a health, uh, the icon should be the health. And if it's speed, it should be the boot. So you don't even have to, uh, to change uh, icon on the buff. So yeah. This was uh, what I had to show you in this tutorial. I really hope it helped you, you out. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you and see you all next time.